Hello again from Burma. I hope you had fun with the little quiz I had given. So the question number one, the instrument you heard, that was called the pan flute, pan pipes also you call them. It is a set of several uh, flutes of different size lined up together. I'll, you can look down in the video description for all the answers including the song links plus more information about the artist or the kind of music. The song they played was one of the most famous songs in the whole world, Hallelujah, by the great Leonard Cohen from Canada, who was with us still recently. He was a poet, a writer, uh, un unbelievable gentleman. One person, uh, for me, Glenn Gould, uh, uh, Leonard Cohen, these are some of the greatest people to emerge from Canada. So that was question number one. Pan flute, hallelujah, uh, and the original hallelujah sung by Leonard Cohen. There are uh, several others who have done covers to hallelujah. Second question was a lady from New Zealand who has Maori blood in her, but she was very high profile and very close to the British royal family. She sang for Charles, Prince Charles and Lady Diana's wedding also, which made her very famous in that part of the world. Even She's an opera star. But um, after a certain point in her career, she has rediscovered her Maori roots. And the song you heard was a Maori song. Maoris are the original native people of uh, New Zealand. So I'm giving a link to not only the singer who is Dame Kiri Tekanawa, but also to Maoris and the dreadful history they've had because of Europeans colonizing New Zealand. Then song number three was in Farsi or Persian, one of the most beautiful languages in the world with one of the most beautiful musical traditions in the world also from Iran. And the singer was Gugush, the one and only Gugush, who's still singing. Should just uh, read about her and the life she has gone through. Actually, I didn't intend it that way, but several of the artists who are featured here, they've had very, very, very hard lives. Still, they triumphed and made something so unforgettable. So, Gugush as number three. Number four, the again, unbelievable, the naughty song that was by the legendary Artha Kit. I had the privilege of listening to her live in Madison Square Garden, New York, just before she passed away. She acted in a musical uh, Cinderella as the fairy godmother. So there is Cinderella, there is Prince Charming, but Artha Kit comes, then you don't see anybody else. At that time, she was already around 80 years old. Unbelievable. Uh, again, her life, you will find so many Artha Kit videos, interviews on YouTube now, which is an amazing, amazing thing. She had such a hard beginning in her life and what she made of it is beyond imagination. Then, question number five. So we heard a Maori song from New Zealand. This was again unplanned. It just came to my mind. This is a song from Australia sung by one of the Aboriginal tribes. The gentleman's name, he was a blind singer called Jeffrey Gurumul Yupingu, who passed away quite recently at a very young age. And he used to play guitar himself the other way around and sing he never learnt English properly, though he sang Amazing Grace and a few English songs also. Unbelievable feel, unbelievable soul. And they came from a community where, similar to my community, where the women have all the money. So, he, whatever he earned, he used to give his mother and sister. So, I was happy to know that there are some other uh, weird situations like this. Uh, I don't feel any one gender having power is right. Both should be equal. Then number six, 
uh, is a very very strange uh, the lady's name is anna mari hefle she is giving i'll send uh, put the video also down she is giving a demonstration of what some people call throat singing and some people call overtone singing where the voice is used like one note ah oh, they sing and just like we make whistling notes with the lips they constrict the throat and make whistling sound so at the same time two notes are produced by the same person so i heard uh, this kind of singing throat singing for the first time in a cd of mongolian music by a group called hun hurtu they their lower voice you have to hear i thought our md ramanath and somebody they are the lowest voices but there are many others who have even lower voices it's very rough but the actual note is so low you have to see and hear to believe so that was uh, anna maria hefle uh, singing throat singing or overtone singing number 7 the song was in arabic and one of the most famous singers ever from that part of the world the legendary firuz who is still singing so there is a composition uh, about jerusalem by firuz firuz also many 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 clips are there on youtube you can just feast on her music i love this kind of heavy rich full male or female voice so that was firuz number 8 is a surprise um that was a chinese song in mandarin sung by the legendary martial artist film star jackie chan so jackie chan he defies uh, many of my pet theories i feel uh, i had the privilege to meet and interact with quite a few famous people in my life and many times i have wished i had just admired them from far away because the closer you know somebody you get little disappointed because they may not be how they project themselves in public many times i feel the more fake you are the more famous you become <laughs> so if you are genuine means you will have a few good well wishes but if you are big time fake means you will have millions of followers and anyway that but jackie chan seems to be and my tennis hero rafael nadal also they seem to be so super famous but so genuine and just absolute sweet hearts in their own way i have met some people who have interacted with them also so both nadal and jackie chan people say they are like just pure gold and with age they become better and better so jackie chan is a fantastic is a trained singer he, how beautifully he sings again many many songs even in english are there on youtube so you can check out this other Side, lesser known side of jackie chan question number 9 many of old time people will know the only only english song in the collection that was uh, from the movie the millionaire s starring peter sellers and sophia loren peter sellers was very very good with accents not only indian and pakistani accent but french accent and uh, even in england there are so many levels so many kinds of accent uh, dialects in each location and he used to do interviews with himself where three four voices all would be done by peter sellers sophia loren of course is one of the greatest uh, presences in the film industry and they have uh, for the promo of millionaires movie they recorded this audio which is actually not there in the movie then they were told to cut a disc with several songs together bangers and mash and <laughs> peter sellers as a typical english gentleman uh, promoting english food bangers and mash and peter uh, sofia loren no macaroni vermicelli and <laughs> all the italian pastas so, and uh, this song was late a cover was done by another super talent uh, who is famous as mr bean which is only 1% of his talent because he is so much more than bean his spoken talent the theater is unbelievable the great rowan atkinson recently a few years ago rowan atkinson also sang uh, with a lady called pixie lot the same song so i am giving the link for rowan atkinson's version of the song also 
and the last song was in Greek. For most of us, other than the English song, most of it will all be Greek to us. But uh, one of the great, great, great composers from Greece is the great Mikis Theodorakis, who actually performed even during the Athens Olympics a few years ago. And he was a music director for the iconic film Zorba the Greek, starring Anthony Quinn, which is a film of a book of the same name. So I have compiled several clips, including actual Anthony Quinn himself many decades later and uh, Theodorakis together on stage. It's a privilege to witness this kind of greatness at the same time. So I hope you had fun with this small quiz also. The more I do, I realize I can go on giving these quizzes because so many great musicians are there and I thank them for the amazing work they have done and continue to do, the inspiration they provide. I hope you have fun. Please check out the links below. Okay?